Hi everyone. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use CLAMP Cancer on pathology reports for patients with cancer. Using CLAMP Cancer, you will be able to extract cancer-related attributes from pathology reports. The input are sentences taken from surgical pathology reports, and the output can be any of the following. Specimen locations, tumor histology, grade and metastatic status and invasion, tumor margins, tumor size, site of the tumors, and tumor markers and features. In summary, to recognize these clinical concepts within clinical text, first, you need to create a new pipeline project. Then, you need to configure the pipeline. Third, you need to import the files that you want to be analyzed. Fourth, you need to process the imported files by running them through the pipeline. And finally, you can review and visualize the NLP output. If you need to refine the process, you can do so by reconfiguring the pipeline. So, let's focus on the first step, creating a new pipeline. To do that, first click on the plus sign at the top left corner of the screen. On the pop-up window, Enter a name for your project, for example, Cancer Demo. Then, select NLP Pipeline as the project type. And finally, click the Finish button. Now it's time to configure your pipeline. To do so, go to the Pipeline panel, go to the folder you just created, Open the Components folder within it and double click on the cancerdemo.pipeline file. This will open up the file in the middle window. Now, you need to drag and drop the cancer components from the component panel onto the pipeline window. Clamp Cancer comes with several cancer specific components, each of which help extract a concept related to cancer. These components are listed in NLP Components under Named Entity Recognizer. Each of them comes with their own configuration file and settings. You can modify them if you need or simply use the default settings. For more information, please visit our website at clamp.uth.edu forward slash cancer.php. In this example, we'll use the following components. Primary site is a component that represents the primary organ or tissue where the specimen comes from. The histology component helps identify the histological type or morphology of a cancer. It shows the origin and nature of a tumor. The biomarker component extracts information related to the immunohistochemical tests and their values. The tumor grade component will allow you to extract the grade of a tumor from text. As we said before, to use these components, simply drag and drop them from the components panel onto the pipeline window. First, we'll add the primary site component. Drag and drop the primary site folder to the pipeline. Upon dragging the folder, you will notice a red X sign next to the name of the folder. The sign indicates that the component is dependent on other NLP components that are missing from the current pipeline. To fix this issue, simply click on the Auto Fix button at the top of the panel. This will automatically add the required components to the pipeline. Please note that the sequence of the individual components from top to bottom reflect the order in which they will run to process your input data. When you add a component to the pipeline, you have two options. First, you can either accept the default parameters for the components, or you can modify the parameters based on your needs. To do this, simply double-click the config.conf file to open it in the middle window and modify the parameters that you're interested in. For example, 
you can replace the default dictionary file with your own dictionary file by clicking on the three dots button and selecting your own file. You can also add new terms to the dictionary by clicking on the primary site.dict file from the pipeline panel and adding your desired terms. If you check the checkbox for case sensitive, the matcher will differentiate between capital and lowercase letters when searching for a term in the dictionary. If you check the checkbox for stemming, the matcher will match the stemmed form of a candidate named entity with the terms in the dictionary. Similar to the primary site dictionary, you can either edit or replace the regular expressions file. You can edit it by double clicking on the file in the pipeline panel. Or you can replace it by clicking the three dots button next to the field. In certain cases, you may need to use machine learning to post-process your data. You can do so with the rules setting. Again, similar to the primary site dictionary file, you can either edit or replace the rules file. You can edit it by double-clicking on the file in the pipeline panel, or you can replace it by using the three dots button next to the field. The relation connector assigns a relationship type to a set of related concepts. For example, rules can be defined to create a relationship between histology and grade. In this example, the connector would assign a has-grade relation type to histology. Similar to other modules, you can either edit or replace the current file. We'll go ahead with the default parameters. Now, let's add histology, biomarker, and tumor grade components to the pipeline. Similar to the primary site component, you can choose the default parameters or you can modify the settings based on your needs. At the end, you will need to add the relation extractor component which is also listed under the NLP components. This component allows you to finalize your pipeline process and extract predefined relationships. There are two approaches to extract relations among identified entities. Here, we'll choose the rule-based relation cancer connector. Now that the pipeline is configured, press the Save button at the top of the window. Next, let's import the text that we want to process to the input folder. To do so, first on the pipeline panel, go to your pipeline project. Then, open the data folder, right-click on the input folder, and select the import. A pop-up menu will appear which lets you select the files that you want to import. Click on the small arrow next to the general folder to expand it, and then select File System as the import source. Then click on the Next button. Then click on the Browse button at the top of the window to choose your desired folder. The selected folder will be displayed on the left side of the window, and the files inside the folder will be displayed on the right side. Click the checkboxes for the files that you want to run the pipeline on. Currently, the CLAMP pipeline can only process files with the .txt extension. Click on the Browse button next to the Into folder field to choose the folder that you want to import your files to. Here, we'll keep the default directory. Finally, click on the Finish button. Now that you're done configuring the pipeline and importing your materials, it's time to start running the pipeline. To run a pipeline, simply click on the Run icon at the top of the screen. Once the pipeline starts running, you can check the progress of the process from the console window and the progress bar at the bottom of the screen. 
Once the process is completed, the generated files are displayed in the output folder. Clicking on a file with the .xmi extension allows you to view its original content annotated with recognized clinical concepts. Different types of clinical concepts will be highlighted with different colors. For example, here you see that bladder and prostate have been identified as the primary site, and poorly differentiated has been identified as the grade. Thank you for watching this video. For more, visit our website at clamp.uth.edu forward slash cancer.php.